Right here we have Chris Froome. Uh, I've got a little compilation here. So you can look at the cadence. Now cadence means how many times your foot, your pedal spins around one leg per minute. All right, so Chris Froome normally around 100 cadence when he's going full gas. Full gas. So here he's just dropping Contador like Contador's a weekend warrior. Now let me just pause this for a second. All right. Just bear with me a sec. Listen to watch this. So we have uh, someone saying that some scientists... This is a problem with science. It's like any punter with a degree can say whatevs. Uh, so the scientist says, at this low intensity, 50 watts, it's really gentle riding. So this, this scientist is trying to say Chris Froome is wrong. Right? <laughs> he's saying... <laughs> he's trying to say that if you pedal at 50 watts... 100 cadence around that is ineffective. I'll tell you what, nobody in the pro peloton or even the amateurs is pedaling at fucking 50 watts. Do you know how fucking easy 50 watts is? I could, buy, I could fucking steer with my feet and put my pedal with one hand and produce more than 50 watts. So yes, but no one's peddling at 50 watts. It's like saying, if you ate 800 bananas in one minute, you will probably die. So don't, well, don't eat too many bananas then. You're a fucking idiot. You might be a scientist, but you're a dumb cunt. You might be a nice person, but you're a dumb cunt when it comes to 50 watts is what... What the fuck are you talking about? How the fuck did Cycling Weekly even publish this rubbish? Fuck me. Anyway, so we've got uh, Chris Froome doing 390 watts for one of the climbs in this uh, 2015 tour over 97 RPM average. I personally find myself around 95 to 105. The hour record, 105 RPM. All right, look it up. Everyone who's breaking the hour record or getting close to it, 105 RPM. Any big hitters, 105 RPM. The more power you're trying to produce, the more cadence you need. If you're a sprinter, 130, 160. Trackies are doing 200 even. Just spinning the fuck out of it. Let's just keep rolling here so we can see what we're talking about. So look at Chris Froome's cadence and uh, we can see what's going on here. This is hilarious. These punters say that spinning is not, not winning. They just need to go and get an idea one day. So look at that. A little bit grinding there, but still just... I mean, look at that. He's riding away from these dudes like they're punters. And look, he's talking about by himself. Man. It's like there's no one on the road that day. These are professional cyclists Chris Froome's dropping. He's not, he's, look at that. He's just taunting them like they're fucking weekend warriors, man. It's pretty hard to appreciate that unless you understand wattages. Look at that. Just, see you later, guys. See you later. Full gas. Um, so cadence is where it's at, man. Compact cranks. Chris Freem's using compact cranks. Contador's using compact cranks. Basso, Hamilton using compact cranks. Look at that. You need to get use whatever gear you need to get your cadence at least around 90 up the hill. When you're trying to go full gas, you need at least 90 cadence when you're trying to go full gas up your favorite climb. Otherwise, your gearing is not really going to be doing you any favors. 50 watts. Like, how the fuck do these cunts come up with this? Who the fuck is funding this? Why the fuck is Cycling Weekly... F That's why it's publishing it. Because a scientist wrote it. A nutritionist wrote it. You can be a fucking fat fuck nutritionist and still get published in Cycling Australia or some... Whatever. Because you've got credentials, but your advice is absolute fucking rubbish when it comes to real-world athletic performance. Spinning is winging. Carb the fuck up. Don't listen to fucking idiots who are educated... And maybe sincere, but sincerely fucking wrong. Go vegan.